Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm deep in Hampshire still, and I'm in the village of Lys at the Spread Eagle pub. I was here four years ago with, um, for a meetup with uh, Richard Vogel's Board Explorer little group. That was four years ago, so I haven't been back since. Yeah, the lovely village of Lys. And I'm meeting up with my friend Kevin Hall. We're gonna have lunch first, and then we're gonna go over, just over to Gretham and Gretham Old Church, which I don't see documented that much. Um, it's like a fascinating ruin, so uh, we're going to be doing that. Gloriously hot day, beautiful mid-September. Let's do this. What a fantastic ancient tree. All hollowed out, I love a hollowed out uh, tree. Seen quite a few of these lately, over the summer. Cheers. Yeah, last time we were, we were here, 2018, there was a great traction engine that everyone had a ride in. We went round, but it's absolutely peeing it down with rain. Here's some footage from that uh, from that day. Oh, it's wet. <laughs> everyone wave. <laughs> Fire <at> the <laughs> So here we are guys, look who I've been joined with, the lovely Kevin Hall. Hello there. Who's, Hi. On, who's on a recent video, Kevin's Rambles YouTube channel. That's it, thank you, yeah. And we did a recent video uh, down in Alfriston. We did, yeah. One of, still one of the best walks I've ever done. Yeah. It was just beautiful, it was a lovely day, very windy I know. I know, yeah. Um, yeah. And I'll be hopefully leading a well, we'll be leading a walk on the 11th of October around Ninth. somewhere in 9th Ninth. of October. <laughs> no, the 11th of October, I'm doing a ghost walk at the theatre. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But the 9th, I'm working out the Surrey route, which I need to get to Kevin very quickly. You do? Yeah. So, we need to get an, an event created. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we'll be doing that and yeah. I'll be videoing that as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a little meal here and then yeah. we're going to head over to an old church. Looking forward to that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Amazing, amazing little ruin. Gretham Old Church, ladies and gentlemen. Gretham Old Church. Now, Kevin lives locally and he's never been here. I've, no, I've never been here, Mark. No. But I've spoken about coming here, but today, you know, it was the first, first time. But isn't it a fast thing? Yeah, I literally saw it on a, on a map. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Thinking, Where can I go in Hampshire? Yeah. <laughs> and this popped up, and I thought I'll go to uh, Sherborne earlier on yeah go to the um this is the last video when i went to the museum for gilbert white yeah the, yep. the original naturalist the david attenborough of his day that's it um and then i saw this little baby yeah 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 but it always fascinates me about these places is the thickness of the wall yes it's incredible yeah and, and, and like here they just i think they've been adding these bits in but they put tiles in instead of stone or I don't a little bit of reinforcement yeah it is yeah but unfortunately the chapel's not open which is really oh. frustrating <laughs> there's a tomb in there i'd love to have seen it says yeah. it's open at weekends but yeah. I'm not, not today not today <laughs> not today Stonewall. this was originally built in 1282 right and used for worship right up until 1875 when the church opposite was built victorian church um but yeah look at it Fantastic. It's not much to see. I say I really wish that the um, the chapel is open. Actually, though, you can actually see in. I'll see if I can see in through this, this gate here. I don't know how much you can see in there. Kevin just noticed that there's a crack in the glass here, so I'm going to see if I can get the camera in and see what we can see. You see the tomb over there? That's the tomb. And I'll let you know who that is. That's Dame Marjorie Carrill, 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 C A R Y L L, who was a virtuous lady. Oh, a virtuous lady, yeah. yeah. So that's her tomb in the in the corner there. If you can see that, I'll 
closed in a little bit. It's very hard to see through the crack. But yeah, that's her, um, that's her tomb. So we can see through the windows, luckily. Thank you, Kevin just pointed that out. So uh, let's have a see if we can see Marjorie's tomb here. If we go into the window, and there it is in the cook. You can see that, guys? There's her tomb. I think that's a tomb from the 1500s. 1500s? Yeah. Wow, that's a good Yeah. She died in 1632. 1632. 1632? Wow. Apparently, yeah, apparently the yew tree in this little graveyard and the grave of a Knights Templar. Ah! Um, where that is, I have no idea. There's a yew tree behind you. Oh, there's a yew, yeah. Which we'll go up to. Oh, it's hollowed out, so, uh, yeah. Beckton, what a Knights Templar uh, grave, yeah? There's a, there's a, there's a, um, a headstone, a um, grave headstone laying down with a cross on it. A sort of sword or a cross on it, and that's depicting it's a it's, wow. a, it's a Knights Templar uh, grave. We comment. Look how f near some of these gravestones are to the to the yew tree. The yew tree would have been here before the church. Um, but look at this lovely yew tree. Oh, can't quite fit inside, but it's still a lovely yew tree. I've seen a lot of yew trees this summer. A lot. Yeah. Compared to the other. Do love a good year. So I've, I just said I've, I've seen quite a few years this summer. But in Surrey. I've seen a lot and yeah. they've been in the fields. <laughs> Bit slow on the uptake on that one. Oh, oh Mark. My name's Kevin Hall. I'm here all week. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I thought you were going to be quick off I'm sorry, Mark. I wasn't. <laughs> oh, dear. So we're going to try and find this Knights Templar grave. There's the chapel. Here we are. I bet that's it. I reckon that's it as well, yeah. That looks quite lightly with the cross on top. Yeah. Yeah. Knights Templar grave. So that must be at least from the, what, 13th century? Got to be. That's the, that, the, I've seen several Knights Templar graves, but that's the most intact one I've ever seen. It looks very, it doesn't look, you know, almost seven, eight hundred years old. No, no, exactly, yeah. Look at that. But that's how it's supposed to be depicted with the cross on yeah. the top. Well, this is not used for worship anymore. Does that then make the churchyard redundant? Uh, yeah, it must be. Yeah, it's yeah, really weird. Absolutely. Yeah. But people are buried here, so yeah. how does that work? Well, whenever they close this up, that would have been the last time that this was used as for burials. Mm. But you look around and there's there's not one modern headstone. No, no. So it's, it's not been used for a long time for burials. Long, long time. Well, yeah, um, since 1875. When yeah, they built a new church across the road. Yeah, there you go. So, mm. yeah, absolutely. So, and of course, you're not supposed to, do, if you wanted to move a headstone you're not, or a grave, you're not supposed to move it for 100 years. No, that's right. So, yeah, yeah. A lovely place. Yes, amazing little, just off the road, just outside the road. of uh, Gretton, Gretton Village. Yeah. I'm pronouncing it Gretton, Gretton, Gretton. Oh God, look, we're in a horrible shade here. Oh Christ. Sorry yeah. about that, ladies and gentlemen, watching <laughs> this video. I should know better, I'm a filmmaker. Yes, um, you are. <laughs> yes, Gretton. Gretton. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we get, as we said just now, you can get into trouble for mispronouncing. Mispronouncing names, names yes. Yeah. Berwick. Berwick. Berwick, we're saying, but we did the walk with you recently. Yeah, yeah. Was it Berwick? Is it Berwick? <laughs> That's right. Oh no! <laughs> we kept getting picked up on it. Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, when we're doing our we're doing our films, mm. yeah, I, I would say Berwick, <laughs> and they said, no, no, it's not Berwick, it's Berwick. <laughs> Berwick. Yeah, yeah. Warning: Visitors are welcome to this beautiful church and ancient site. Please be aware that all stonework and drainage work is unstable. Well, it's been here a long time, so uh, yeah. Oh, is that the information about the tomb inside? No, it's actually about the Knights Templar grave. Well, it's, it's good information about it all, but it's the Knights Templar grave in the northwest corner. Is the northwest church. corner of the churchyard. It's thought to be associated with the preceptory. That's the word. Thank you, Mark. You're it's welcome. Established in Southerington in 1240, and is likely to date. 
the 13th, 13th century. century. So they got so, me in that one we saw. Well, that's not the northwest corner. Okay. Which north, mean? hang on. Right, okay, right. Uh, right, Which that's north. north. That's north of that day. Northwest will be... No, that's north. No, that's north. That's that's west. So it's got to be over in that corner there. Let's have a go and look. Shall we have a look? Yeah. That's the only one with a cross on it. Yeah, so I mean, it was that one. I think so. That'd be very strange if it's not. Yeah. So. What yeah. Kevin and I are going to do is just have a look at the 1875 church, which replaces this one, just across the road. Okay. That's and cool. the, ch the bells from this church were taken to the new. Oh right. Okay. The new one. Yeah, um, that's good. I'm not. I say everyone knows. I'm not a big lover of Victorian yeah. churches. Yeah. Is that called upcycling? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a quick look and uh, let's have a look at the the other one across the road. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The stone doesn't look real, does it? No, it looks like it's bits stuck on. So the like, reason, like a cladding. The reason I think this church was built was probably because the local community was getting larger, and the, top, and the small church probably couldn't cope. Couldn't cope with it. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, probably not. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's just weird. It just doesn't give me the feel of a stone-built church. No. Although I can clearly see stone. You can see stone. Yeah. It's just like if it's a like a, a like a thin bits mm. that have been stuck into the render. Yeah. But I don't know. You know, it's not the sort of stone that I'm used to seeing on no. churches. You know. You, it's lovely old sandstone or pesky, iron. Pesky Victorians. Isn't yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, good old Victorians. Yeah, good old Victorians. They do like messing things yeah. up, don't they? Oh, yeah. I suppose. We're going inside the church. Have a look. <coughs> oh, very nice. Oh wow. It's lovely, isn't it? It is nice. Different designs and the timber. Yeah, yeah. timber roofs. Yeah. You got the, the the cross beams and you got the supports coming down, and they just think of the the workmanship that's gone into doing something like that. It's yeah. incredible. I was at St Mary's in Selborne on the last video, yeah. and the font was not Norman; it yeah. was Saxon oh, in was origin. Oh, I wow. didn't even know Saxons even did fonts. No, I didn't. I was no. really f thrown by that. So yeah, Saxon absolutely. font. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Victorian. This is eighteen seventy-five. That's modern. That's modern history, isn't it? Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. But it's, it's very nice, look. Yeah, very nice church. Nice note. Very cool from the hot weather outside. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. <laughs> I've done that about ten churches so far. Have you? Yeah. Lion? Is on the screen. Um, I think it's a line, yeah, or a woodpecker, a bird. Yeah, that one. That's, that's, that's not. A, that's, that's definitely a line there. I think. I think it's a line. Yeah. How bizarre. That's nice organ. Oh, suits you, sir. Yeah. yeah well, yes, you in Berwick Church. You were pointing yes, them out to me. Yeah. I didn't know about them before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so so I, I was educated. Yes. <laughs> It's, for the, it's, it's usually used for, they're usually in twos or threes. Um, quite often they're set by the, to, the, to the south side of the, of the altar, and it's where the, the vicars or the priests sit. Um, and of course, you, and you sometimes get this, the Ormbreeze and, um, and uh, Piscinas here. But I, there's, a, there's a, an opening there, but that's not, I don't think that's an Ormbreeze as such. It's got a candle and a, right. a Bible in it. It's when you come into a church and you start looking round um, for my channel, where when Steve and Cynthia and I go, you, you start looking round, and the more you look, the more things you find. Yes. And it's fascinating. Things like the Sedelia seats, these are things I've, I've only learned because I've been going in so many churches. But there's always different details and little bits and pieces that you've got to look out mm. for. It just makes everything that much more interesting. Very much. So I have a question for Kevin. When you're out 
on a walk or exploring, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Are you out on a walk and making a video as well? Or are you making a video of you out on that walk? I think I'm always making a video of me out on that walk and the video comes sort of first. Yeah, it is. You, well, in a way, we, we try and plan a walk. Like I do, yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, you go on that walk, but you're making a video of that walk. Of that walk. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You keep stopping and starting. That's you it. Know, yeah. Walk past yeah, and all that kind that's of thing. That's it, yeah. yeah. And it's the same with the church. Mm. You, 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 you do a bit of research and, and things like that, um, and, and you come to the church, but you're, you're planning the visit, but you're filming the visit, if that makes mm. sense. Does that make yeah, sense? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I think. Yeah. I mean, literally, I got to my first video today and I whacked the camera out before I'd even worked out where I was going. Yeah, yeah. You I know, know. I know. Times, you, you were looking at time and all that kind of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. I knew I was meeting Kevin at one o'clock. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, interesting yeah. insight, guys, in how to make a video. Yeah, yeah. we try to. <laughs> yeah, and also the good video drive, the good memories to look back on as well for our own personal thing, well absolutely. as for, for the yeah. viewers. Yeah. And, and, you know, for, from, for family and things like that, they're there forever, aren't they? Yes, they are, yeah. It's, it's like a, 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 lo, a, a diary of, of what, you know, my, my children will look back in years to come. I'm gra my grandson mm. might look back and think, oh, that's what granddad did, yeah. that's what dad did. Um, went, oh, look, they did YouTube. Bless them. <laughs> Bless them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was great. A nice little exploration of the... Uh, Gretham Old Church, this is St John the Baptist Church, yeah. Victorian, which yeah. was built to replace the earlier church. Um, thank you very much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you, Kevin. That's right. No, thank you very much for asking me. And we had a lovely pub lunch in this spreading We did, very nice indeed. Yeah. Thank you for that. You're it's very, very welcome, my treat, because yeah. I'm nice. Um, and uh, hope you liked uh, the video. Please like, subscribe, all the normal stuff we do on YouTube. Yeah, very important. Uh, I'll link Kevin's channel, Kevin's Rambles channel below in the description thank box. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And we'll see you next time. And Take I'll, care. And I'll give him a tip in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, mate. Take care, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.